welcome to test me channel here in this video i want to show you how to install minikube in ubuntu machine so what is minikube minikube is kubernetes local kubernetes we can use minikube for practice purpose for learning purpose and for developing for kubernetes purpose and basic requirements for minikube installation is two numbers CPU, 2 GB of RAM, memory, 20 GB free disk space, and internet connectivity, and container runtime. So, container runtime like Docker, Hypervisor, VMware, VirtualBox, we can use. Here in this demo, I want to use Docker. So, before installing Minikube, we will have to install Docker. So we'll go to this is and get this command. I'll share this command into the description. Go to the instance. This is AWS EC2 instance. Who gonna do? Paste the command. It will do install docker automatically it will take two to three minutes depending upon the internet speed here in this minikube website you will get the step one for installation the first is we'll have to choose whatever operating system we want to install the minikube so mac os windows linux we can take here in this demo I'm using Ubuntu selecting Linux get this to command go to the instance so Docker installation is still running okay Docker installation is completed you can see Docker version 20 okay now Is this tool command and then run? And the next is the start mini tool. Just run this command. So, here what we have to do, we have to add user to the Docker group. So, run this to command sudo user mode. Then in the group docker and the current user edit to the docker group next is just start minikube Start mini group. The installation is going on. Next is how to interact with the cluster. So we can use kubectl command line tool to interact with the Kubernetes cluster for minikube we can use minikube kubectl It will take about three to four minutes.
and wait for another one or two minutes. installation is done now we can interact with the cluster get this command paste oh. so we have not installed a kubectl so we have to install kubectl then only we can use kubectl commands minish cube kubectl we can use suppose Sorry. Okay, these are the com uh, these are the containers running in the cluster now. So if we use kubectl, we cannot use the kubectl command because we did not install kubectl. So let's install kubectl. Go to the kubectl Kubernetes install setup kubectl in linux first step is get this common next is download kubectl section file validate it the 6 some file validation okay so next is install kubectl first kubectl version sorry we have to give this command so you can see keeps it already installed now you put it on it on it on it on it on so these are the ports running this is the services this will demonstrate deployment replica set Now, next is we can deploy application into the mini cube. So here the port step is deploy applications. Uh, so here they are deploying a hello mini cube uh, container. So let's get this command and paste. So it will create a deployment and it is export the port. Uh, deployment the node port service so it will create a node port service so to um, space so these are the services running this is the application service let's get the service Hello, Minico. Get the service URL. So, access this is the service URL. How you can access from inside the cluster. You can access here's a curl. So, we are getting the response now. How will access this application from the outside from the browser so we have to go forward so, 
minus zero plus zero dot two dot two dot. Okay. And then dot. Okay. Now go to the browser. Get the pub public IP. Go to the loop tab. Column seven zero eight zero the port number. Then enter. Oh, sorry, I have done a mistake. Okay. Let's go to the browser and then run. Okay. So before doing this, we have to do one thing. We have to open the port to access this. Okay. So go to the security group and then. Go to inbound rules, edit inbound rules, add rule, all TCP, this is for learning purpose only, so you should not use all TCP, but for demo, I am using all TCP and then save the rule, and then go to the browser and access the application, okay, we are getting the response, this is the response, from the application so that's all in this video thank you do subscribe my channel share like and subscribe okay thanks <laughs>